What's up guys, welcome back to my channel and for this video I'm going to show you how to change these joggers into a tapered pant basically that is kind of cropped. <laughs> yeah, we'll see how it goes. So yeah, basically all you're going to do is just cut off the elastic part of the pant. Um, I got these pants at Target, they're on sale in the clearance section for like 17 bucks. Um, they're just like a pair of linen joggers and I'm not really a jogger kind of person. Um, they look good on other people but just for me, it's not really my thing. They make me feel like I'm a kid. So um, yeah, but since I like the fabric a lot, I'm going to cut it and make it into more of my style. So basically you're just going to fold the pant in half. Um, as you can see this pant, the linen pant is inside out. So you're just going to line up the back part of the crotch area. And just find a pant that you like the length of and these pant, these black denim on top of the linen pant is basically one of my favorite pants that I wear all the time. So just going to cut off the extra and pretty simple as that. So as you can see right here, the two parts, the two seams on the side of the pant, one has a top stitch and one doesn't. We're going to sew the part that doesn't have the top stitch. That way it looks a lot cleaner and it looks just like you bought it at a store and stuff like that. So all you're going to do is line up the inseam basically the side that doesn't have a top stitch and you're just gonna lay that flat and just lay a pant that you like the fit of and these blackish gray pants are one of my favorite fitting pants from H&M so I really like the fit of that so I'm just gonna follow that and use that as a template so basically you're just gonna line everything up make sure everything is flat and neat and um, just take a piece of chalk right here I'm using Taylor's chalk you can get it at like a Joann's a Mike um, yeah, not, I don't think Michaels has it, but any fabric place or fabric store might have it. Or you can use a pencil or pen, whichever works for you. I just want to use white because the fabric is pretty light and I didn't want any of the ink to bleed through. So yeah, you're just going to mark it. And as you can see right there, it's probably like half an inch um, extra and excess. So you're just going to cut, uh, use that as your uh, guide to sew so that your pant is a little bit more tapered. Yeah, like I said guys, um, these limb pants are pretty cool. Um, they're lightweight and nice for the summer. I just don't like that jogger like style. So I'm definitely gonna change it up and make it more my uh, make it more personal to my style. So as you can see right here, I'm just gonna sew on the chalk line that I um, marked. And you're basically gonna take, you're gonna start from the end, which is half of an inch and sew upwards so that it ends at a zero. Basically what that means is you're going to end the two stitchings, well you're going to end the first stitch closest to the previous stitch before so that it kind of blends in nicely at an angle. So um, yeah and that's pretty much it. So you're just going to do the same thing to the other side. And it's crucial guys that you guys end at a zero um, at the point gradually so that it has a nice even flow and it doesn't pucker or like stick out. So right here, I want my pants a little bit more tapered, so I'm going to measure, I think I'm going to measure about another half an inch from that sew line that I just did. And like I said, you're just going to do half an inch to zero. As you can see on the top, or like where the knee area is, that is at a zero. That comes to like a point, so it's basically like a triangle. I'm just going to sew that once more. Um, this step is... You guys don't need to do this step if you guys don't want it as tapered as I do, but I do want my pants a little bit more tapered um, towards the ankle because they are going to be cropped. So I just wanted to do this extra step for this particular design or this particular um, tutorial. As you can see right there, the second stitch just kind of goes and overlaps the first stitch that I previously did. That way everything is nice and blended and there is no like puckering or any like harsh angles that make it stick out when you fold it right side in or right side out. And right here guys you're just going to cut um, about a quarter of an inch away from the new sew line. That way you don't have extra fabric like um, bunching up and um, you know just hanging out <laughs> inside your leg. So yeah, just do the same thing to the other side and cut at an angle so that you come to a point when you do finish. And so to secure this stitch guys, so that the pen doesn't fray because this is a 
um, linen pant. It might fray a lot when you do throw in the wash. So I'm just going to do a zigzag stitch on the raw edge. Just that way it doesn't like fray as much once you take it out of the wash. So you should do that to both sides guys. That way it's nice and clean and yeah. As you can see right there, it's just pretty close to the stitch line and it just it's gonna hold everything in place. So lastly guys, after you do the zigzag stitch on both sides, you're just gonna fold the hem about um I usually fold it a quarter of an inch and then another quarter of an inch, so that's like half an inch total. That way, I, I just like that seam um, length. I don't like it too thick. So yeah, a quarter of an inch once and then another quarter of an inch again so that you can hide that raw edge inside that fold. And um, I usually just pin everything down before I start sewing just so that everything is nice and clean and the pan is balanced and not like... Um, <laughs> uneven on any sides yeah it's pretty tedious guys but it does the finish will be like nice and clean and you won't have to redo everything once you like when you do it right the first time you definitely um, avoid having a mistake and you avoid taking out the stitches and redoing everything so this is just the last needle I'm just gonna put in and as you can see everything is pretty nice and flat and even so that way once I'm done stitching it will be nice and clean. So this part of the sewing machine you can remove that is basically to sew a sleeve or to sew a pant leg as you can see what we're doing right here. And what I usually do is I like to start on the inner part of the pant where the, the inner part seam of the pant that way if you did do a back stitch or double stitch overlap it does hide so that's what I'm doing and as you can see right here I'm just lining up the end of the hem at the 10 line I use that as my guideline and just keep that um, keep the folded hem at that 10 and you'll always have a nice straight stitch which is closest to the fold on the inside and as you just go along just remove the needle one one at a time as you get towards the uh, stitching needle pretty simple guys and that's it um, pant leg is pretty small so it won't take a lot of sewing if you did um, decide to do this DIY as you can see right there it's nice and clean on the outside and on the inside uh, minus that blurry part <laughs> but yeah as you can see it's super clean and super um, um, well stitched so for the last step, you're just going to press the uh, seam out because you did um, create a new seam by stitching it. It's going to like bubble out. So all I do is usually I just line it up. I lay it flat first and then press that and then lay it on the side. And then press that again so that the, the seam is really nice and crisp. Um, you guys can, you don't have to do this step, but I'm such a stickler for um, a nice finish. So I'm going to do that. And for the bottom hem, I usually iron on the inside part. That way you can really press the folded part up and you get a nice like clean look. And that is it guys, that is how I taper and um, I guess crop a pair of linen pants. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give this video a thumbs up and follow me on all my social media links. They'll be in the links in the description box down below. And as always guys, thanks for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye.